Hey guys, this is Nif, and I'm back with another redstone creation. And for this creation, I created a high-tech redstone lock. And as you can see, I built it out of cobblestone. Um, I didn't have the patience to build it out of obsidian or adminium. I might do it later in a later video, but uh, right now, it's just a proof of concept. Now, uh, every redstone lock has a really bad flaw to it, where you just place a redstone torch right here, and the door opens right up. Now with the open and closed door to my redstone lock this doesn't happen so you can't break in that way you have to type in the code for this door to open now I'll type in a wrong code real quick and we'll press the open button it doesn't open now we'll type in the right combination nope that is not the right combination We'll type in the right combination. Press open. And the door opens. It immediately closes once you step on this pressure plate. That way no trailers can follow you and take your goodies. Now you exit through this door. And again these doors will open with a redstone torch. Now uh the wiring I used for this was on the buttons are connected to this torch which are is a really compressed redstone wire and it uncompresses into a bunch of RS NOR latches and some AND gates all con interconnected with NOT gates to form the code for opening the door. Now the RS NOR latch I used I had to make up because I need a vertical really compressed one and basically what it is is three blocks two torches and three redstone as you can see the redstone two redstone is up here one redstone is there redstone torch on the side redstone torch under this block right here and what happens is when you supply power to the bottom block which will subsequently turn this torch off turn the power off and the power stays with this one now let's say we want it to switch back to this torch all we do is supply power to these top ones right here and that will turn on and that will turn off and we can do this as many times as you want and it's basically just a memory cell and it's really compressed and really good for the design I needed and uh, that's all and I'd appreciate it if you would rate and subscribe and leave a comment on what I should make next or what redstone tutorial I should do next and I'll see you guys next time.